We all experience the NHS, whether as patients, relatives of patients, or carers. Our voiced opinion is important for the future design of NHS services. And if brief friendly advice and guidance were given to a patient by any clinician, it could initiate the first steps to changing a life for the better. The NHS has the ambition to provide the best health service in the world. It is because of this dedication that in November 2011, the NHS Midlands and East identified five areas which would dramatically improve patient experience and outcome. From this, five ambitions were agreed. These were Eliminate avoidable pressure ulcers Improve primary care Create a patient revolution Make every contact count and strengthen partnerships between the NHS and local government. Together, the ambitions combine a strategy to provide high quality, safe services to patients, tackle inequalities and facilitate partnership working. The five ambitions have all made an impact in their own way. The shifting culture of NHS staff about eliminating pressure ulcers has contributed to a new pressure ulcers being cut down by a third. The communications campaign, Stop the Pressure, has helped motivate and educate NHS staff in prevention and treatment of pressure ulcers. They know what's wrong with me. They take time and they all understand the pressure so I have and they do anything to make it better. We have an amazing, absolutely amazing facilities here. We have a brilliant surgery who are linked to brilliant district nurses that come in really regularly to keep an eye on Richard. If there's a problem, they will help me deal with it. And that is, for me, the biggest thing in the world. Well, it was uh, some months ago that my wife and I were actually at a, an event and at that event somebody was giving a presentation on pressure ulcers and I think we were both shocked that no one had ever spoken to us about pressure ulcers before. So at that point we decided to take action and see how we could get involved to help support an initiative that's currently being driven through NHS Midlands and East Region um, to enable people to learn more and understand about you know, the impact and the severity of pressure ulcers. CCGs and their member GP practices are working together to improve the quality of primary care. They are auditing member practices on the use of warfarin and reducing the use of antimicrobials. The patient revolution ambition encourages and empowers patients to take an active role in improving the NHS. The ambition also developed the nationally adopted friends and family test, which asked the question, would you recommend this service to your friends and family? And more organizations are engaging and listening to patients to improve customer service with 160 patient leaders trained to help facilitate this. Being a patient leader, I think, is being about a role model, um, leading the way, um, and making sure that services um, a change for the better and the patient voice is heard. It's a really exciting programme and it's one that the organisation has been um, really positive about because we can see the day-to-day -day benefits that it brings um, on our wards and our departments each and every day. I, I suppose what's become evident is um, patient feedback um, has, has the capacity to really change things at a local level. For me personally as a nurse it's really important that we get that feedback on what experiences of care and treatment are like within our organisation because we should be constantly looking for opportunities to improve that for the people we serve. One of the, the, the ongoing themes that we've noticed is that patients don't seem to feel that they're involved in discussions around discharge. Now, as nursing staff, we think actually we're probably quite open about it and we are involving them, but their, their perception is quite different. Often they feel that they aren't in, included in discussions till the, the day they're told they're going home. 
So hopefully we're trying to change that. Nobody's looking for grand and wonderful things. They know that, that they want to be safe when they come into hospital. They want to be treated as an individual um, and not as a, a statistic. So, you know, I don't think it is rocket science at all. I feel passionately that as a patient leader, um, in order to build really good relationships with staff, which is the best way to change things for the better, because at the end of the day, the staff and, and us, patient leaders, um, we want the best out of it. Making every contact count is an ambition that embraces and it's okay to ask culture. NHS staff are encouraged to talk to patients about a range of lifestyle issues, including stopping smoking, reducing alcohol consumption, healthy eating and exercise, and to signpost or refer anyone who wants to make changes onto an organisation which can help. With over 10,000 staff trained and 110 NHS organisations signed up, the friendly MEC approach is about empowering staff to encourage and enable people to make positive lifestyle changes. I see a lot of patients who have got problems which are caused by their lifestyle choices or they are heading for a great deal of trouble because of their lifestyle choices and part of what I should be doing as a doctor I believe is to help them um, achieve better health often with quite straightforward interventions. I mean they asked me about appetite and what I ate and my lifestyle and I can remember thinking what's this got to do with why I'm here. It's not that that's doing it, it's the problems away from that. But I find it, obviously it works. <laughs> There's a reason for it. We have um, uh, patients who have really benefited from, from MEC advice. They've managed to lose weight, they become more physically active. We've increased referrals to our health promotion services and specialist uh, support services. And it has had real benefits for individuals. I've had so many grateful patients who've said, actually, you know, that really brought it home to me how important it was, and I'm really pleased you mentioned it. Not only does it bring health benefits for patients and families, but it also teaches staff to think about each patient as an individual and to think about what other individual needs that families might have as well. So I think it's about actually about more than MEC, it's about that sort of personalised, individualised care that we're all striving to deliver. Clients have actually said, I am so glad you have spoken to me about this. I have been so worried about it. The Strength and Partnerships ambition encourages the NHS to work with local authorities. 100% of local systems now have a shared vision or agreement, with 92% having a joint or aligned commissioning plan, and 87% of CCGs and local authorities have undertaken partnership working. I think councillors uh, will and should have a major element in talking to GPs, talking to the CCGs, being part of the decision making and being part of the priorities. I think the, that there's a huge sense, in uh, a huge logic in us working much closer as a public sector rather than as individual silos in NHS and in social care. We need to have some very clear specific things and areas to work on. Um, and to, to try and move the sector generally together and align our priorities so that the money is spent um, in health alongside social care, alongside public health, so that we get the greater impact for the, uh, for the taxpayers' money. The patient leaders and ambassadors that we will be having going forward will make a significant contribution to ensure that we've seen the cultural shift required to ensure their voice is heard more often in service design and delivery. I'm hopeful that we will gather and engineer a momentum on site that will see this as you know, run in the mill. I think it's something that staff really get into doing and it's taking them back to their roots often so it builds an energy and enthusiasm across the hospital. I really hope I can make an impact. That's the main thing for me, and to make sure that this role does last and never ends.